hello and welcome back to my channel hope you're well so today's video is about how to make pickled rip blossoms if you're interested in knowing how to make pickled rip blossoms please keep watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel let me tell you a bit about rip seed blossoms rip seed blossoms are popularly known as nanohana here in japan and they are the young shoots of the rape seed plants including its buds leaves and stems it has a slightly bitter flavor and it's often likened to broccolini or baby broccoli and it's also classified as a brassica in this clip is the matured rape seed plant which is usually used for making oil if you want to know more about rape seed plants and its significance in the japanese culture please check the description box below for more details now let's talk about the ingredients for this recipe i'll be using rape seed blossoms three tablespoons of sugar one tablespoon of salt coriander seeds one cup of vinegar I'm using rice vinegar and two cups of water. As rape seed blossoms are slightly bitter, I decided to use three tablespoons of sugar so as to create a nice bitter sweet taste. Now I'm going to make the pickling solution. I'll start by transferring the vinegar, salt, sugar, coriander seeds and water to the pan. And I'm going to turn on the cooker. The purpose of this step is to slightly warm up the liquid so that the salt and sugar are well dissolved. I'm going to keep the pickling solution on low to medium heat and occasionally stir. As you can see now, the salt and sugar is completely dissolved. So I'm going to take the pickling solution off the cooker to cool down. Over here, I've got a pan of hot boiling water. I've kept it on low heat. I'm going to transfer the washed ripseed blossoms into the boiling water and leave them to blanch for one minute. I'm going to use my tongs to push down the rape seed blossoms so they are fully submerged in the hot water. After blanching them in hot water for one minute, this is what they look like. Over here, I've got an ice bath prepared and I'll be transferring the blanched rape blossoms into the ice bath to stop the cooking process and to help maintain the vibrant green and yellow color. I'm going to leave the rape seed blossoms in the ice bath for about 3 minutes and wait till they are completely cooled down. After the rape seed blossoms were completely cooled down, I ran them through a strainer to take off the excess water. Now I'm going to begin the pickling process. I'm going to start by transferring the blanched rape seed blossoms into the jar. Next, I'm going to add the pickling solution to the rape seed blossoms. At this point, the pickling solution had completely cooled down. We do not want to use hot pickling solution as that would further cook the rape seed blossoms which we do not want at this point. I'm going to add the solution to the rape seed blossoms until they are fully submerged in the pickling solution. I'm going to use my tongs to push out the excess air and ensure the solution reaches every part of the rape seed blossom. Next, I'm going to put on the lid and transfer it into my refrigerator as it's completely cooled down. You could eat this immediately or after about 2 hours, 
Personally, I prefer to consume my pickled vegetables after 24 hours because by that time the flavors from the pickling solution would have properly infused into the vegetables which would make it taste better. This is after 24 hours and as you can see the vibrant green color has become slightly dull which is totally normal. Now I'm going to take out a few of the rapeseed blossoms. This is my first time making pickled rapeseed blossoms and I absolutely love it because there's a nice balance between the bitter and the sweet flavor. Pickled rapeseed blossoms are usually eaten as a side dish and it also goes well with rice, in wraps and in salads. Also, pickled rapeseed blossoms can stay in the refrigerator for one to four weeks. So it keeps very well. So I guess we've come to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed watching, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to my channel and please click the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you've got any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. As always, take care. See you next time. Bye.